Hey, welcome to Draft Academy. My name is Mike. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to build a little Mad Libs game in C++. So Mad Libs is basically a little game where you enter in a bunch of random words, could be like nouns, verbs, uh, adjectives, and then all those words get taken and get sprinkled into a story. And generally, since you entered in random words, the story ends up being pretty funny. So let me show you guys uh, over here in my browser. I just have an example of a Mad Lib. You know, essentially there's this story and then you would sprinkle in all those random words that the person enters into the story. So we're going to build something like this in our C++ program. So down here I have my little program set up. It's, it's just this little poem. It says, roses are red, violets are blue, I love you. So this is a, you know, sort of a classic poem, but I think this could be a lot better if we turn it into a Mad Lib. So let's say instead of um, saying roses are red, why don't we let the user enter in a color? Instead of saying violets are blue, we'll let them enter in a plural noun. And instead of saying I love you, let's say I love celebrity. So some random celebrity they can enter in. So basically we're gonna ask the user to enter in all these different values. We'll store them in variables and then we can print them out inside of our story. So let's get started, this should be kinda cool. The first thing we wanna do is actually create variables for all these things. So I'm just gonna say string and we'll create a variable for the color, for the plural noun, and for the celebrity. All right, so now we've basically told C++ that we're gonna use all these variables, but we need to give them values, and we're actually gonna let the user give them values when they enter in all those things. The first thing we wanna do when we wanna get input from the user is we're just gonna say C out, and we're gonna print out a prompt. So I'm basically just gonna say, enter a color. So we're gonna have them enter in a color, now we wanna actually get the color that they input. So I'm just gonna say get line, and in here we're just gonna say C-I-N, and that's basically just standing for like that console input, so whenever we like uh, input text into the console. So it's gonna get whatever gets inputted into there, and then we're gonna store it inside of this color variable. So this will get the line of text that they enter. And I'm actually just gonna copy this, and we'll do the same thing for all the other uh, values. So we're gonna say enter a, plural noun, and we'll store that inside of the plural noun variable. And then down here, we're gonna do the same thing for the celebrity, so we'll store that in the celebrity variable. All right, so we're declaring the variables, we're printing out our prompts, and then we're getting the input from the user using this get line function. Last thing we need to do is modify this part of the program. So instead of saying roses are color, we're actually gonna put the color that they entered into the story. Same thing for this plural noun. So I'm just gonna say plural noun, and you can see how that gets placed in between these less thans. And then I love celebrity, we're gonna actually put in the celebrity variable, cool. All right, so now our program should be set up. Everything's wired up, we're getting values into all these variables and we're printing them out down here in our story. So let's run this program and we should be able to play our Mad Libs. Enter a color, why don't we enter in magenta. Enter a plural noun, let's do microwaves. And enter a celebrity, why don't we do Tom Hanks. So now when I click enter, all of the values are gonna show up in our story. So it says, roses are magenta, microwaves are blue, I love Tom Hanks, awesome. So our Mad Lib worked and we are ready to go. So that's essentially how you can build a Mad Lib. I mean, it's, a, it's as easy as getting different inputs from the user and printing them out inside the story. But this is a very simple Mad Libs. I mean, I'm sure you guys could see that you could ask the user for like 20 different words and print them out into some huge long story and it's gonna work out the same way. So this is an awesome way to create our Mad Libs game. Hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe to Draft Academy to be the first to know when we release new content. Also, we're always looking to improve, so if you have any constructive criticism or questions or anything, leave a comment below. Finally, if you're enjoying Draft Academy and you want to help us grow, head over to draftacademy.com forward slash contribute and invest in our future.